and welcome to a new series here on my channel. I'm so excited. I was talking to my friends, trying to think of names to kind of call this little series of mine. It's like a decluttering series, but I don't want it to just be like my makeup stuff or like my crafting stuff. I literally want it to be like decluttering my whole entire life, meaning like our entire house and all that. So I didn't want it to be like decluttering makeup or whatever. So my friend Amanda actually came up with this name, New Year, New Space. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's super cute and different. I like it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be decluttering my makeup collection. And then as the time go on, you know, I will make my way into our house, like the rest of our house. So decluttering my closet, decluttering our garage, which is full of stuff so like household items things like that and yeah i'm just so excited it's a new year i feel like we have so much stuff like my husband and i have accumulated so much stuff not even stuff just crap yeah we have a lot of crap <laughs> I guess really feel like we need to purge like when we moved we got rid of a lot of stuff like every time we move we donate like truckloads to goodwill or wherever but for some reason we still end up with so much stuff it is insane you guys i don't know how it happens it just it just does it just yeah just a lot of stuff a lot of crap yes so i'm very excited to start this series here on my channel i hope you guys like it if you have any ideas on what i can declutter you know let me know and i will definitely consider it because like i said i just want to purge yes so for this first episode of this whole series like i said i wanted to start off with the makeup collection so i'm not gonna do all of my makeup collection in this one video because that's a lot so we're gonna do drawer by drawer yes so pretty much everything on my vanity are things that i love so what i'm mainly gonna declutter is this drawer right here so we're gonna start off with this top one right here so if you want to see what i decided to get rid of and to keep then keep on watching i hope you guys enjoy this give it a thumbs up if you're into these type of videos if you want to see more totally give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon in my next one Mwah! bye all right you guys so this is my makeup drawers or most of them that's where i keep like 80 90 percent of my makeup again i'm not gonna go through the makeup that's on my vanity because i know for sure those are items that i love so i'm just gonna do drawer by drawer and whatnot so for this video we're gonna do the top drawer and that is actually where I keep all of my lip stuff. And also I have two bins here on the side where the small one I'm gonna do like the items that I can probably give away. And then the big one are the garbage or maybe vice versa. Anyways, let's get started. So it's kind of hard to show you guys this, but this is the drawer. Alright, so as you can see, this drawer is just packed full of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all of it out and put it on the floor just so I can see everything. And then we'll go through the items that way because this is a little, this is too much like grabbing things out. So let's go. Okay guys, so this is our first batch of stuff that we're going to go through and see if I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff and I actually have baby wipes right here just so I can swatch things and like wipe it away. ASAP. So anyways, let's get started. So I have these Benefit lipsticks, which these actually are kind of like little memorabilia for when I went to San Francisco with Benefit. So I'm going to keep it and see if I wear it all this year. If I don't wear it all this year, then I might get rid of them. But the packaging is just so beautiful. See you guys, I'm like the worst person I'm trying to get rid of things because I'm just like, I want to keep it so pretty. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and keep those. Um, take these out. So I'm keeping those. And then I have here two Butter London lipsticks. Let's see. This one of them I know I've worn a lot. This one is the color Tramp Stamp. And it is beautiful, but it looks like it's dried out a little. But there is Tramp Stamp. It's a pretty shade and I know I like this so I'm gonna keep it. 
And then this one is Jaffa. Ooh, I remember this one. I don't like it. It's just a very orange color, so this is definitely something I'm gonna get rid of. So that is to give away. I decided the big bin is gonna be giveaway. And then the little bin is garbage. Okay, and then I have this from Bare Minerals. It is really pretty. Like, look at that swatch. It is Chase Your Dreams. But it does have a little bit of kind of like, not glitter, but like almost. It's not the prettiest. I tried it on, but I might give it another shot. So I'll go ahead and keep that. Since I do love Bare Minerals lipsticks, you guys. I really do. And then I have this one. This Never Say Never. One of my favorite lipsticks from Bare Minerals. Like, look at that pigment. Beautiful. So I'm going to keep this. Actually, I'm going to keep all of my Bare Minerals just because I know they're perfect for summer. I love them. I really do. I really, really do. And this one is perfect for fall. Like, bam. Look at that. So yes, I'm keeping these. Sorry, guys. Not getting rid of those. Oh boy, this is gonna suck. My arm is gonna get all like different colors by the end of this because there's so many. <laughs> so many. <laughs> ah, I won't come off. Okay. Next we have a cosmetics. Um, this one is this color, which I've never worn, but I will give it a try. It's called Pretty Woman. Also, this one is Je ne sais quoi. I haven't worn this yet, but give it a shot. I think, is this the same as, no, this is a different one. And then we have Damsel, which I love this one. This one is just a beautiful nude, so we'll keep those. And then we have here Lorac lipsticks. One is Secret Agent, which I'm not be honest, I haven't used these. And I mean, they're good, so I might keep them and like actually give them a shot. I totally forgot I even had these. And then this one is Goddess. It's so pretty. Like, wow. Okay, look at these. I feel like I'm keeping everything. Okay, and then we have these Tarte lipsticks, which to be honest, I've had these for... When did I get these? It was uh, a few years ago. I did a blog post on them. So these are pretty old, I think. Yeah, I don't know. They smell kind of... I don't know. Minty? Why is it minty? Oh my gosh, they're so nice! Oh my gosh, these are really nice. I like these. Oh, should I get rid of them? I should get rid of them. I think I should. Just because like, oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one because that is really pretty. And let's see, what's, what's this one? Ooh, okay. Oh no, which one should I keep? Okay, I'm gonna keep just two because I know I'm not gonna use these. So I'm gonna keep these ones and get rid of these. Because I do like my pinks, like these two right here. Can you see these two? I'm keeping. These two, I'll get rid of. Yeah? I don't know guys, why is it so hard? Okay, let me just, let me think about that. <laughs> Is this the worst decluttering video you've ever seen? I am like such a hoarder. I'm like, I love it. No. Anyways, I have my Jouer lipsticks. I know I love these, so I'm definitely keeping these. So these are going right here. I don't really need to swatch those. I love Jouer. Okay, and then we have Pixie. Now these are new. I haven't even swatched them yet. And I kind of don't want to just because I don't know. But yeah. How pretty, right? So, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'll keep them. I just, I just really prefer liquid lipsticks anyways. So these are brand new. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Um, I also have this one from Shiseido. It is pretty, but it has like glitter in it. Like it has a little bit of shimmer, which I'm not too fond of. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy. And then we have here Shu Amora lipsticks. Some of these I love and some I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some like this. I would never wear that. It's so like sparkly. So that is a no. 
This one is just too bright, I think. Yeah, I would never wear that. So with that to give away, um, this one is pretty. That one I would wear. I like that. It's definitely like a summer color for me. Um, this one is like brand new. I don't know if it's something I would wear. Um, so I don't know. We'll keep that. Um, this one I know I do not like. I tried to, I think, make this work, but it just didn't work out. Like, that's just not a color for me. It's like yellow, you know? That's like yellow, you guys, right there. So this one is a no. This one is so pretty, but again, I can't work with that type of orange. So this is definitely a no. Okay, this nude I know I love, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. It's a really nice kind of like sheer nude, if you can even see it right there. It's really nice, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, and then we have the Too Faced um, lipsticks, which surprisingly, I do not really like these, you guys. So I might get rid of them. Like, this one is like glitter AF. Like... I don't know it just doesn't feel very nice on the lips and I can actually kind of feel like the glitter in this so I will go ahead and get rid of that I haven't worn them really um this one too it's just like mm, they just all kind of have that glitter in them and it doesn't feel nice on the lips so I'm just like get rid of it get rid of it get rid of it yeah I mean they're really beautiful but if I can feel the glitter on my lips so I guess I decided to keep all of these, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them because I haven't worn them in years. So I'll be a good sport and get rid of these. Okay, so these are to keep because I do like these. Now on to these guys. These are lip balms from Benefit Cosmetics and I already know I love these, so I'm going to go ahead and keep them. And then let's see, this is also from Benefit. It's super old. It's my treat, but... Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, do you see that? It just like broke. Like literally. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's like, okay, I'm going to get rid of this because it looks like it's breaking apart. It's just like super too soft. So that is garbage. Okay, and then we have, let's see, we have Urban Decay right here. So these two are actually very, like, yes, I love these, so I'm going to keep these. I don't know where these can go because they don't really fit. I guess I can put it upside down or something, but yeah. So I'm keeping these. And then these are like the older Urban Decay um, lipsticks, so I'll go ahead and swatch them. Um, this one I love. This is the matte Stark Naked. It's matte. Like, bam, look at that. It's so nice. It's so nice. So I'm keeping this. I'm also keeping this one. This is 1993. I wore this a lot in, like, the fall and winter. Like, look at, oh, so beautiful. So I'm going to wear, I'm going to keep those. And then we have these guys, which they're lipstick so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these because I already know I love them now these next section or these next ones right here I already know I'm gonna get rid of because I've had them for forever but like I already I only like a few and I didn't even bother with some of them just because I already know um, they're gonna be too drying on the lips and these are the Giordana um, lip lipsticks and yeah so a lot of these are new, like majority of them. The ones that I wore a lot is, what is this, matte blush. This is a beautiful color. Hold on a second. So this one I wore, ooh. So yeah, this one is what I wore a lot and it is just a beautiful nude shade. Um, so this one I know I like, but even this, it's already super drying on the lips. So I didn't even bother trying the other ones out um i think this one i tried as well this is matte bear so yeah but everything else i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of because i already know i'm not gonna like them that much 
because these are not i don't even love 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 the colors you know what i mean so yeah i know it's very drying on the lips i do really like this one this is from city color in the color cappuccino is a gorgeous like nude color but it's so drying that i'm gonna get rid of it actually yeah i'm gonna get rid of it when even swatching that was like really drying all right so next we have here some wet and wild lipsticks that i've had for way too long so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these i just think they're not i don't know it's, it's just i've had them for so long you guys like years so i believe those are garbage okay so wow look at that we're gonna rid of a lot, you guys. So now onto this section right here. These are all of my Cliniques, which I love. So I know I'm keeping those. And then I have my Makeup Forever a lipstick, which I love. So I'm keeping that. And then these are all of my Benefit Cosmetics lipsticks. I will go through them to see if they are still in good shape because I've had them for a long time. And I think they're pretty good. Um, they're still very nice and like moisturizing and the formula hasn't changed yet So I think it's okay to keep them still even though I've, I have had these for like years you guys So again, here I am just swatching them trying to see if the formula has changed um, And it looks like they're still good. Not like the other one I swatched earlier. It just kind of like crumpled Yeah, I think these are still pretty dang good which I'm very happy that it's still good because I really don't want to get rid of these even though this one is not that great. Do you see that? I have to like... How is this not pigmented enough? Like, it should be that color but it's not. So, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, let's see this one. Oh, yeah. So, I mean... Yeah, so those are still pretty good. And then these I know I love. These are all kind of like the pencil color things, like crayons. So I'm going to keep those. Okay, guys. So this is the next batch of things I want to look through. So some of these I know I want to keep already. And some I already know I want to get rid of. For example, I want to get rid of all of my MAC lipsticks. I know what. Um, but I've had all of these MAC lipsticks um, since college. Like... 2011 and it is now 2017 you guys i haven't used them for years i just kept them because they're so pretty and uh especially this one but seriously it is time for them to go so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna take these out and bring them back to mac pretty much um oh actually I don't know, but yeah, pr pretty much I do want to get rid of all of them. So I'm just going to keep that in that section. And then all of these right here are Milani lipsticks. I've had these for, I want to say, either two or three years now. And I, even though I did swatch, I did a swatch video and I do like them. They're very nice. Um, I haven't really used them since. Like I used... The matte naked a lot and also i believe blissful let me double check yeah so i use that and this guy a lot so i'll keep these two but everything else i never really used you guys like especially that one that one i believe was so drying i mean they're beautiful beautiful products but they're just not something I reach out for so yeah I haven't really used them in like three or two or three years so I'm just gonna go ahead and just get rid of them even these the ones that I did use quite a bit I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't reach for it enough to keep them in my collection I feel like okay and now we have all of these these are all pretty much new I believe and they're from Maybelline. Yeah, they're new. I haven't used them yet. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the ones that I know I would even try to use, you know. So there's some crazy colors here like blacks, midnight blue, sapphire, black as berry. Those colors I don't typically reach for and will never reach for. So I'm going to go ahead and give these away. And then I have these colors, which I'm just going to pick and choose which one 
I know I would maybe use. So I really like Rebel Pink. That looks nice. Fiery Fuchsia. The orange, not so much. Dynamite Red. Ooh, which one? Let me open it up. Ooh, okay. I like that. I think I'm going to like this one too. Okay, so I'm going to keep these. And then we have a Berry Bossy. This is really pretty. It's like a purpley color. So I will keep that. Okay, now all of these are nudes. I know I'm not going to like these because this one is too nude. And then this one is white. <laughs> so this is actually nude thrill. It's too nude for me. Um, I think I didn't swatch this. Yeah. Okay. Alright, and now we have Mavic, which this one I would definitely try. Um, let's see, Gone Grage. Oh, that's too... The, under, the, the, the undertone on this is not very pretty. Gray, and I'm not too fond of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. Okay, and then we have these colors from Sleep. Now, I'm not too fond of like, oh, did you see that? It broke, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Where'd it go? I hope these aren't broken. I'm scared. Okay, so this one's okay. That is very pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this because I know Sleek lipsticks are very pretty. Um, we also have a nude, which I like the nude. Here's a pink. Here's like uh, this color. These are just so pretty, so I will go ahead and keep these. I didn't want to keep the orange one anyways because it's just not my color. And then we have these guys from Sleek as well. They're just like mini ones. And these are very, very nice lipsticks. Like very, very, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep those. And then I have this guy, which is so cute. Like, look at this packaging. It is from Etude House, I believe. The shade is so pretty, so I'm keeping that. And I think my friend got this for me. I think Winnie got this for me? I'm not sure. So anyways, that is that. So now onto this section, which is mostly lip glosses. So these are all actually brand new. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these and these. So this is an actual lip gloss holder so i'm gonna put the ones that i want in here so these are all from pure they're new so i'm gonna go ahead and put them there i also have my bare minerals liquid lipsticks which i love i have these guys which i haven't even tried out yet so i'm gonna go ahead and keep these of course or i should have put them there um okay and then we have these this is from velvet lippy and i haven't used them yet so i'm gonna go ahead and keep these as well this one's from becca this is just a lip gloss it's a very nice lip gloss it's not sticky whatsoever pretty pigmented as well so i'll go ahead and keep that and let's see this is by sarah hap it is so pretty it is one of my favorite lip glosses look at that such a pretty like light pink so i will keep this I also got these like mini, um, what's it called? Liquid lipsticks. They're from the brand B Hue. I have quite a bit of them, like these and that. But they're not the colors that I would wear. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these. Um, I already have two in my collection that I love, but these are definitely colors I don't wear at all, ever. So I will go ahead and get rid of these. This one right here I really like. It is from Maybelline. It's the Vivid Matte Liquid, so I will go ahead and keep this. I also have an Ofra um, Liquid Lipstick, which I haven't tried. I heard a lot of great things about Ofra, though. Ooh, okay. I see you. That is very, very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this and, like, you know, try it out and stuff. Okay, and then we have these guys. Oh my gosh, I remember buying this and being so excited. And it is the worst thing ever and it smells so bad. I purchased these on Hotla because they were on sale. But I'm pretty sure they're like expired or something because they just smell so bad. They are from Tarte. They are the Sculptor Contouring 
lipstick and liner duo. Oh, I actually purchased this on their website because it was on sale, not Holt Look. This was straight from TarteCosmetics.com and they are the worst thing ever. They smell so bad. Pretty sure they're expired. All right, you guys. Okay, and then I have here two Shuamura lip glosses. I love these. I'm gonna keep those. Not even a question. <laughs> um, I have these Milani um, lip power thing. I swatched them, but never used them. So I'll go ahead and get rid of these. I have here a, a cosmetics lip gloss. It's really great. Not sticky at all. I love that. Okay, and then we have these Stila or Stila. Um, What's it called? pencil things and I'm gonna get rid of these because I've had them for years and I've used it a ton like more than half so I'll just get rid of these because they're pretty old and they're probably expired by now okay and then I'll go into this one okay and then we have ColourPop which is this is new let me just put that here on the side I also have this from Etude House. It's really nice. I don't know when I got this, but I'm gonna keep it because it's super cute. Such a bad decision right there. Um, and then this is super old. Like super, 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 super old. Like way back in college. I'm gonna get rid of it. I never even wore it. So yeah. Okay. And then we have these little tart, tart things. <laughs> um, I, um, I love, I used to love them, but I haven't reached for them for maybe two or three years now. So I will just go ahead and get rid of them. That's so sad. This one too is another Milani thing that I never really reached for. And then these are Butter London lip glosses. I don't think I ever used them really. I just swatched them. Yeah, this one has never even been open. I can tell. So I'm not gonna... I'm not keeping these because I never wore them. So, yeah, get rid of. Okay, and then these are lippy butters or lippy lip products. Or how do you say this? Lip gloss from Butter London, but they're called lippies. And I like these because they are pigmented but not sticky. Like, look at that. So they're like on the verge of being... A liquid lipstick but they're glossy if you know what I mean they're so pretty so I will go ahead and keep these because they're very very good products even though oh I don't know guys it smells it smells they're too strong I think I would just go ahead and get rid of it because I have had these for a few years but oh oh no 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 they smell they smell like super super strong lip gloss smell that's not even nice get rid of good thing i tried it out like good thing i swatched it because that smells so bad like toxic almost next are these guys um okay so these are like pencil things which i like i'm gonna get rid of all of the um, what is it called? All of the Wet n Wild ones. I bought them before because it was like hyped up and stuff and they were okay but as you can see I never really used them. I just bought them because they were on sale. So, ooh. so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Some of them are brand new. So the brand new ones I'm gonna put in a separate pile because someone might, might want them. But um, yeah sad that I bought them just to have them, not really to use them. Like, what are you doing, Char? So, anyways, yeah, get rid of. Um, I think I have swatched all of them. I don't know. Also, I'm gonna get rid of the Nicogena ones, except for a few. Which one? Okay, I love this one. This is, like, the color number 10. Like my favorite but everything else I can live without so I'm getting rid of all of these okay and then we have here the Giordana um, thing like this I never really reached for it either get rid of that I didn't even use this like <laughs> it looks funny to me so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this never really used that much. 
This is brand new, I think. I don't know. It's just like a lip balm. A tinted brilliance balm. I'll keep that one. Okay, and then we have two Miss Chana um, pencils, which I never really reached for either. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. I'm just getting rid of everything I haven't reached for in forever. This one, ah, I have to sharpen it. I really did like it, as you can see. Like, I used it until I can't. I have to, like, sharpen it, but I hate things I have to sharpen, so I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> okay, and then this one I really, really liked. I do have to sharpen it as well, but I know this one I just got not that long ago, so I'm going to keep that. Also, this one, what is this? Okay. I'll keep this. It looks nice. It smells new. Okay. Okay, and then we have Laura Geller. It looks like I haven't used this. I'm gonna get rid of it because I never, never even used it or reach for it. And then this one I've had for forever too, but I don't know. I I never used it, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, and then we have these guys. Oh my gosh, look at all this. This is all I'm keeping. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, so this section, I know these are new, like I haven't even used them. So I'm going to keep the new ones because I want to try them out. But this one I know I don't like, so I'm going to get rid of this. This one I know I'm not going to like. It's like a lip top coat. Never even used that. This one is a glassy shine top coat. Never will I use that. Okay, and then we have these guys from Benefit Cosmetics. They're super old, you guys. Super, super old. So I don't know. Should I keep them? Should I keep them? Or should I keep them? <laughs> I'm just going to keep them just for the sake of it because, I don't know, memorabilia. They still smell pretty good. Not like the... Not like the Butter London lip glosses I swatched. Those smell terrible, but these smell so good still. So I'll keep these for like another year and maybe by next year or later this year, I'll be okay to part with them. But for now, I'll keep them. Okay, and then we have this from Shu Amora, which looks like I never used it. Um, I'm not gonna swatch it either, but okay. And then we have this. This is a matte lip color from Revlon. It's so good. Like, look at that. It's like almost like a liquid lipstick, but it does have a little bit of a shine to it. It is really comfortable on the lips. I love this. Still smells good, so I'm going to keep that one. Okay, and then I have a love and hate relationship with these guys. These are the melted Too Faced um, things. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should I keep these? I've had them for a long time, but I never really wore them. They kind of smell funky now. Or they have always kind of smelled funky, I think. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I keep these? I'll keep them. Just put them right there. Okay, and then I have this Jouet lip gloss, which I've never worn. Yeah, never worn. So, I'll keep that too. And then I have my Hourglass like oil this is an oil you guys and you press it and it comes out and there it is it's like a nice tint see i just got it not that long ago um so i really need to start using this because it is really good for your lips and then we have this this is baby lips lip gloss never used it so yeah. All right, you guys, so we are done, and this is what my drawer looks like. I love it. So as you can see, there's still some spaces here that I can fill in, like I have this whole row back there for lip glosses or whatever, but I do have some new lipsticks here that I haven't even tried out yet, and it's just so much more organized and not overflowing. I'm so excited, you guys. Yay! So these are the two bins that I am getting rid of. So as I said, this bin is all like garbage. The Mac, I am doing the back to Mac. And then all of this is just garbage or just like expired and stuff. These I will look through again. I made a pile like on this side where 
they're like items I have used and swatched. And then on this side are items that are brand new and never used. And you know, the ones that I know I'm never gonna use. Um, so yeah, all of these are like new. So those I know I can maybe even like put in a blog sale. Let me know if that's something you guys would like or would be interested in. Um, I'm thinking like a variety of like 10 items for like five bucks, something crazy like that, just so I can get rid of them fast. And then these items that are sideways this way um, are items I have used, like I said. So these I'm going to give away to friends and family. Some of them are like items I just swatch. So if I can clean them, like sanitize them, I might put them in the blog sale as well. But let me know if you guys are interested in that. Anyways, I'm so happy that I got rid of a lot of things. I feel like this was a very successful decluttering. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. And I'm just so happy that this drawer is not overflowing with lip products anymore. And it just feels so good to get rid of all that. So anyways, that is it, you guys.